in the UK, if you go to school in the UK, you're probably sitting down for like five hours straight because one hour, like each lesson in the UK, in the education system, we have five lessons a day. So if one lesson is one hour, you can do the maths. That's five times one. That's five hours of like sitting down for one, for, for a whole day over five days because that's how long one week is, right? And if you do the maths, that's 25 hours of non-stop seating. Like just being seated for 25 hours. Imagine the, imagine the toll on your health that has. Imagine the effect that has on your lower back. Just constantly being seated for that long. And no wonder like, in America, I think the obesity rate right now is about 40-ish percent. So 40% of the whole American population is obese. Imagine that in your head. 40% of America is obese. And the UK statistic, I think, is about 26%. So 26% of the UK population, that's like tens of millions of people. That's, that's, that's so much. That's 26% of the whole UK that's obese. <clears throat> Voice crack. You know, it's going to be a good video when I start off with a voice crack. But yeah, so this video, basically, I'm going to be talking about why you need a standing desk. And this is not only about obesity rates and like physical health in general, like your, your physical well-being and all of that. It's also about like if you sit, for example, like on your bed and you've got the laptop on your on your lap, the amount of radiation and damage that that laptop, that device is doing to your balls right now is is detrimental like that is damaging your sperm and this this is like contributing to the fertility crisis of men in like 2023 like the the the, the statistics are crazy like within maybe 10 years most men are going to be infertile and that's that's the, like, humanity's going to end um, like it's actually insane if you think about it most men will be infertile most men won't be able to have kids you might be one of those men or people who will be infertile and won't be able to carry on your genetics or pass even even have kids like that's like the most insane thing imagine not being able to have kids just just due to the fact of your like everyday activities this is something that you can fix today and the way i fix this because i used to be one of those people who sit in bed with their laptop on their on literally on their balls like that's the worst thing you can do with their with your laptop on your balls with your phone in your pocket 24 7 like you're literally blasting your balls with em radiation that's that's the worst thing you can be doing and the way i solved this was getting a stand, uh, standing desk and if you've watched these like YouTube videos and stuff of like standing desks, you see all of these people with these like electric desks, and you might go click on the on the on the link that uh, on the link in their video about their standing desk, and you'll see it's like four four hundred five hundred pounds. <clears throat> Some of them are like even six hundred pounds or something. Like that's that's an outrageous price for you, for a desk. But eventually, I did come to the conclusion that I don't need an electric one. Like like who needs a uh, like high tech fancy one? If you got the money, go ahead to like spend it. Like it definitely is worth it. You're improving your health. But personally, I just went to like Ikea. It's like one of the most well-known brands and stuff in it. But you can get a cheap desk, like cheap relative to like all of the electric desks, right? And I got a cheap standing one way. Like you change the height by winding it on, on the side. I got one of those for like £180. So it's way more affordable than the electric ones. <clears throat> and it still gives you the same results. So with the electric ones, you just click a button and it will probably reach your, your height within 20 seconds. However, with the winding one, it will just like take a bit longer in it because you're winding it manually but there's nothing wrong with doing that and how often are you really going to be changing the height of your desk because i have it permanently set up on like the height of my chest so or maybe like that just below my chest so that it's like like my arms are like kind of like that so it would be perfect and that's another thing when you're sitting at like a normal desk you're looking down so like you're constantly looking down and you're writing and that's that's also horrible for your posture because you're, you're probably slouched over and stuff whereas if you're on a desk standing like your posture is perfect and this is a thing i also used to have like lower back pain because i was constantly sitting on these seats that weren't even like comfortable or they weren't made for for seating or like sitting down at long times and usually the chairs at school they're just made of plastic like some of them don't even support your back so if you know if you're doing like science or something in the laboratories they don't even have a backrest so you'd literally be sat on a stool that's made out of like hard plastic for about an hour maybe two hours a day and that's like the worst thing for your posture and your lower back so that's the that's another thing that's cured like the, the the desk the standing desk has helped me cure my lower back <clears throat> my lower back pain and my posture and that's another thing if you suffer from bad posture that will literally make you shorter if you're if you're stood up straight like straight and everything with your neck facing up your head facing forward you will literally probably gain an inch because <clears throat> most people in my classroom i'll see them slouched over and like they're just looking like they've got they've got that curved c-shape in your back and that's you you're, you're 16 17 like how, how have you got terrible posture at this age so that's one thing it solved for me and like 
yeah, sitting up straight literally makes you taller. How and it's an instant fix as well. If you just keep it in your mind, like consciously, like fix my posture every time you catch yourself slouching. That's like the bare minimum you can do. Just just fix it, correct yourself, correct your posture whenever you're doing it. And yeah, that's like and and that's another thing. If like it has one hundred percent increased my focus and productivity because if my back if, if my lower back is not hurting then it can help me focus on on my work that I'm doing. If my posture is not horrible and then like two hours later like I'm getting neck pain and and like wrist pain and like all of this stuff like that's um like linked to a sedentary lifestyle which just means like a still lifestyle where you sit sit down for a long period of time. All of these problems I was getting because I have to sit at school for five hours straight. Then I'd come home revise or or do whatever like go over my notes and stuff for like another hour and an hour and a half that's like six six and a half hours of sitting and obviously you should be going to the gym you should be doing like active stuff but sitting six and a half hours a day is just not healthy in general so make sure you pick up a standing desk and the thing is it will take a bit of getting used to because you're not used to standing up for such long periods of time and you might start feeling like small pain like like being, you might feel uncomfortable in your ankles or in your knees and stuff. So if you ever feel in, uncomfortable, just take a break, like sit down, like wind it down. If you're getting the, the manual ones, press the button to like lower it and stuff. You've got the electric one, but that's it. Like it will take a bit of getting used to as well. Cause if you're standing up, it's a bit more like you're, you're putting like you're consciously standing up, right? So it, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just a bit different to what you're used to. That'll take like two, three days. But once you're over that bump, it's honestly one of the best investments you can make for your health. And yeah, I hope this helped. Make sure you pick one up. There's no excuse if you can't get one from like Asda or something. You don't need them fancy ones. But yeah, I hope this helped. And yeah, like and subscribe. Chat to you a lot later.